So I wanted to start off a little bit differently this time, uh, because uh, later on today, once we're done, I'm going to be finishing up the episode that's coming out on Wednesday. I okay. wanted to know if y'all wanted to be involved in that little uh, intermission segment that I do, since I got you both on the line now. Um, um, what is the intermission segment that you do? <laughs> I, 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 I'm not saying, I, I'm saying this as someone who listened to the show. Uh-huh. Uh, Literally ever. You know, maybe before the intermission segment. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so in the intermission, like I've got a little script that I do sort of, uh, where I say, you know, you know, uh, a hello message and then thanks for listening and then i plug john's website uh tabitha's store and my novel and then i thank the people at art dream and ketza for our song and then talk about how you can uh reach out to us at members of ksl at gmail and follow us on twitter at members of ksl um so, so you've not followed me on Twitter though, as from members of KSO, right? And I don't have access to this web to this email. So really, it's really just people talking to you, right? <laughs> um, I mean, yeah. if you I'm, want I'm access to it, I'm literally messing with you, Jerry. If you wanted right. access to it, That's I can okay. give you access to all can, of it. I will let you filter <laughs> it for for Tabitha. Yeah. We will allow. Yeah, this. I figured that y'all didn't want that great power. But see, and Jeremy, great you make all these assumptions. About, about us. As, and they're correct. <laughs> yeah, what you're telling you me. You don't involve us in the decision-making process. People like to feel valued, Jeremy. I thought you were a manager. I know, right? I mean, even if they're not actually valued, <laughs> they like to feel that exactly. way. Okay, well, you know what? You're in charge of the Twitter now, John. <laughs> I am Congratulations. So you want to know what my last will, tweet was? I'm going to email you all of like the information. It was like 10 years ago. Oh, wow. Yeah, see, this is why I didn't want to give you that access yeah so i mean every once in a while i get those messages it's like You've, you know we're determining who on twitter is dead or not are you dead <laughs> you and haven't you haven't tweeted in so long that i forgot you had a twitter account well i see i had a twitter account before it was cool to have a twitter account <laughs> that's and then never checked it again well it got a bunch of old people on it and then what do i want to want to uh, talk to not old people uh or anyone honestly uh, then, blo <laughs> then block old people that, well see it used to be you couldn't do that you just had to take it and be like uh i don't want to learn about all the you know nancy pelosi's of the world or whatever <laughs> so um, many. then them follow them <laughs> well they find me they find me jeremy <laughs> Just because someone follows you doesn't mean you have to follow them back. I, you know, I don't follow anybody. I think. <laughs> no, that's not entirely true. I think there's a podcast I follow that uh, stops. Is it members of K Cell? <laughs> I could follow members of K Cell. Um, but why would you? Let's see. Who am I? How do you even like? I'm on here. Oh, I follow 17 people. Wow, I'm surprised. Uh, several dead accounts, several dead people, um, and uh, yeah, just basically all my CMU TV people. Um, so and oh, those were my followers. Whoops, <laughs> that many of them are not following me back. Of course. Oh, there's a jerk. There's a couple of podcasts, some of whom are dead. Oh, apparently Neil deGrasse Tyson. Mm. That surprises me. But whatever. Well, I mean, um, you haven't been on Twitter for so long that he probably wasn't problematic at that point. Uh, he, uh, well, you know. He's always been problematic. He just, like, we weren't, husband. we weren't aware of that yet until he just showed his ass all over the internet, so. <sighs> okay. Uh, yeah, the last time I retweeted something was four years ago. The last time I tweeted something was in 2012. Uh, wow. Yep. That's a long so, time. There, there we go. go. Yeah. So, we needed that, I'm sure. Apparently. Alright, so what are we doing here, bro? I see a map on uh, Roll20. Uh, yeah. I see this is of El Hospital. That is Los Hospital. And there are two floors. There are two floors. Y'all are on floor number two. 
Um, so this is in the U.S. then, right? This uh, is in the well, U.S. Of course, it is in the U.S. Why is there blood everywhere? Uh, <laughs> ignore that. That this is just the only hospital map I could find. I'm roll twenty at eight o'clock this morning. <laughs> Okay. Just all right. All right. Okay. That's fine. Um, this is what a hospital looks like. Standard hospital. All right. So, uh, who wants to try and help y'all remember what happened last time? Who wants to help us remember? Oh. I think Tabitha did it last time. So, I did. John, why don't you talk about what happened in the last recording? Sure. Yeah. So, um, in the last recording, um, we were all at the place where we were at before with the lab and all the nonsense. And um, all of the nonsense. Yeah, uh, we uh, found out from the woman who popped into the world that uh, she had gone and uh, gone out of time and space or something and was talking about how there was a connection that was formed by this uh, uh, the the setup that was there. And um, the connection could only be broken if all of the people that were exposed to the connection uh, were all unconscious all at the same time. So we tried to, uh, well, she uh, then went crazy and said, well, maybe we could just kill everybody and then that would break the connection. All of us agreeing that the connection part is bad, but her thinking that maybe the killing part was good so i wasn't so sure that the killing part was all that bad um <laughs> but we still stopped her from killing everybody but she did succeed at killing a few people um we mostly succeeded and then uh we did eventually uh kill her uh, esme killed her um and then uh we tried to all watch some British Bacon Show and go to sleep, um, <laughs> but that didn't work uh, for some reason. Um, Unknowable reasons. One potentiality being that not all of us were there because uh, uh, the one guy was at the hospital. So we went to the hospital and we got uh, everybody in the same room. And then uh, Tabitha, who had stolen, uh, or I should say Esme, who had stolen some uh, uh, sedatives. Uh, injected everybody succeeding on most people but failing on a few people which I think we decided meant that she like gave them too much or something um, and then uh, right at the right after that I think we all woke up and there were people trying to get in the room and then there was some sort of crash and I think a monster sort of showed up outside the hospital and then uh, the fight music started playing, and then now here we are. Yeah. So yeah, Tabitha did uh, 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 unintentionally give a couple of people too much of the sedative. Uh, those people were Dr. Takagawa and Henry Gonzalez and herself. Um, what makes you think uh, it was unintentional? Which, um, because you said oops when you did it. <laughs> uh, but the uh, the three of them all OD'd on it. Um, you don't know this yet, but Takigawa... Well, you do know Takigawa is dead. Because when you woke up, he had Aww. flatlined. Yeah. Um, and Esme was also wrenched from unconsciousness. Uh, and after she saw the thing in the sky fall into the lobby she also passed out um tabitha you wound up taking 10 damage from your overdose Ouch. but that wasn't quite enough to kill you because you're you're pretty hardy <laughs> i'm not dead yet yeah all right so uh i got a little segment here i want to open with um uh so uh So I'm going to project... Can you see a sign? Yeah, I think so. You're in pajamas. <laughs> um, hi, Oliver. Um, 